Hey guys, today I introduce DataProc on the Google Cloud Platform. DataProc is a fully managed and highly scalable service for running a past Spark, Flink, Press, and SatiPress open source tools and frameworks, which is used for data like modernization, ETL, and secure data science. So first I provision the cloud shell to get the file to use on this video. So I will use a gsu2 command and a copy and specify the path to the file. And uh, this file is called a benchmark pi file and download on the current directly. And to the to see the contents of the file, I use a gsutl cat command. Actually, I don't need a gsutl, just cat command. And uh, here we go, this is the file. Uh, I can see uh, this is basically uh, some algorithm to calculate the number of the pi and uh, you can see the unit square is defined here. And uh, basically, there takes the uh, argument which is the partitions uh, for the script so I'll go to the uh, data pro console but before that I will actually go to crowd stretch and to make the uh, crowd stretch bucket uh, this will be the um, ID of this uh, project name and uh, doesn't matter any illusion I just uh, provision this bucket here and then I will go to data proc console. And I will create a cluster and uh, so the name of the cluster and uh, specify the lesion. And uh, I'll configure using the, you can actually change the version of your um, image. So I will use the Debian. Hadoop 3.2, Spark 3.1, and uh, configure the nodes. So I will use the uh, machine type and external two, the worker node. I will configure the two worker nodes and the machine type. Uh, actually, here you can specify as well, and which is again, I use the same machine type for the worker nodes as your master node. And uh, here you can specify the cross trace station packet. Uh, this is used for storing the cluster drove uh, or the other some outputs as a staging packet. So I will check again the GSU2 LS to check my packet, just create it. And uh, this is the uh, my project name and uh, the packet that I created. So I'm going to type here and uh, just cut off the unnecessary part. Then I left the uh, other uh, configuration as default and create the cluster. So it will take some time to be provisioned. So um, meanwhile, I'll clear um, this terminal. And also, uh, so here basically the cluster is your data for cluster, which uh, maintain um, your hardware part so, uh, for example, if you see the cluster details, and uh, there is a VM instance, and this is the um, computer engine. Uh, so this is the master node, and I provision the two worker nodes, so which is uh, de defined as a role as a worker. So if you go to the computer engine console, you can check, and this is the master node, which is configured using the machine type and on standard two, which I specified. Um, so also you can check uh, worker node, which is provisioning, I've been provisioned. So these are just provisioned. And I go back to uh, cluster and uh, status is provisioning and other configuration you can check. So this is a primary disk size 500 gigabyte, but also you can uh, have the larger disk size. Um, you can also configure other details as you like. And also you can check the uh, web interface uh, some job information which is not yet um, created and of course you can check the monitors which will tell us um, your memory or HDFS uh, information and disk bytes and so on okay so while provisioning the cluster um, I actually go to the job page and submit the job and uh, let's try if I can provision the job Yes, it looks like I can provision jobs. So PySpark and the PassFile would be um, 
the file that I created here. So this will be the benchmark file. But I'm going to use this file from the um, staging bucket. So again, I will check the staging bucket, uh, which is the, the project name of this uh, my current usage. So I will again just util copy command and uh, download this benchmark file from local to um, my just util. So here you go. This will download to the uh, this is my just util files. So here I can specify my just util then benchmark pi, and this will fetch the benchmark pi file from my uh, just bucket just uh, created. And the argument here, um, as I mentioned, I can specify some argument. I will use a 20 first and a max risk per hour. Uh, I will use it to um, just one hour to beginning. So I submit a job and it's successfully uh, submitted. So the status is now running. So now um, the job is running on the cluster. So if I go back to the my cluster, yes, which is successfully uh, running and see the metrics. Uh, now it's slightly start using some information. It will take some time to the job is um, created. So it's still running and it's PySpark. So you can check the wraps time. So how long does it take to uh, jobs completed? No information. Um, by the way, if you like to see other information and especially in details of hardware, you can count it being an instance and uh, check the information from the instance side. And there is a possibility, so uh, you can check uh, this throughput network packets kind of information from this side as well. Uh, this shows the output of your jobs and uh, the configuration as well. And it's actually succeeded, so if you go back, you can check. I'm uh, loading jobs and here you go, the status is now succeeded, so your first job is successfully long and um, the provision is now um, succeeded. And uh, so, let's go to the um, next job, so I will submit the next job, so it will be exactly the same, so I will use uh, the same file from the same bucket, so this will be the benchmark pi. And this time the argument will be 220, so the partition number will be a 220 and a one uh, max uh, list per power. So basically what I'm doing here is that if I see the yes, <coughs> benchmark pi file, it will increase the number of the uh, here and which is specified to uh, calculate this uh, number. So it might it usually takes more time than the uh, first uh, 20 as argument. So let's see uh, how it will be reflected on the uh, jobs and also uh, metrics and uh, which will show me on the monitor. Mm -hmm. So it will take some time. And obviously it takes more time uh, than the first one, which is only the 20. And the wraps time takes uh, 48 seconds already. So if I refresh this page. <clears throat> yes, it's still learning. It's uh, already first day one minute, so it might take more time. Uh, meanwhile, I will prepare the one thing here. So provision the uh, crowd show again. So what I'm gonna do right now is after finishing this show, I will um, update my cluster. So as you can see now, my cluster information 
it has the um, two worker nodes and one master node, which can be seen from the Boolean instance. So right here, there is this master node and two worker nodes. Uh, I'm gonna increase the number of the worker nodes so that the cluster can work efficiently to handle a job which takes uh, extra time. For example, so the second job, I just leave it as a default name, but basically the second one, so it takes uh, more time, like uh, more, like twice time of the first one. So I will um, update this uh, class and see if this will affect uh, any time for the um, job execution. So the crowd data proc, then clusters, update, and uh, I will use the cluster name, demo, cluster and the legion, this is US, central one, then here, num, walkers, then I'll specify five. So it's start operating to update the cluster. So if I go to the uh, cluster page, here you see the update in the cluster and also go to BM instance and now you see uh, the first it has only two worker cluster but now it has the five cluster so it's easily to configure your cluster using the uh, command line and um, when you have the uh, larger files or the, the file that takes more processing and it's usually recommended to uh, increase the cluster so it's a horizontal scaling instead of the vertical um, scaling which just uh, change the computer um, type, machine type because basically those additional workers have the same type as the previous mach uh, workers machine type so if I go to the page you can check uh, anyone sign up to is set as machine type if I also go to the uh, first two uh, machine type I mean the workers uh, it's the machine type is the same, exactly the same, and on turn of two. And um, so they rock. And now the provision is finished. So I'll go to job and I will submit a new job. Let's say job three. And this will be exactly the same as the previous. Uh, jobs configuration, so I'll we'll use uh, actually the just util and check the my uh, just crowd stretched pass. Here we go. I will use it to uh, specify the pass. This is the bench mark pi. Then the argument is exactly the same 220 and exactly the same uh, configuration here. And submit the job and see if this will. Um, reduce the um, total time to process for the exactly the same jobs. So I will go back to the jobs page and now I can see uh, this will start running. So um, this one and this one is exactly the same configuration. And uh, the first one takes 1 minute 47 seconds. So now I add the three worker nodes and to see if this will help to reduce the wraps time or the total processing time. Let's update the page again. It is still running. For example, this one is the previous one. If you see, um, text the CPU utilization 50% and some information and um, it is a lot of memories. And if I see the new jobs, uh, seems using less memory and uh, CPU utilization is same, but for the use for the uh, lot of the same workers. And there you go, it succeeded. So now it takes less than um, 40 seconds rest on the previous work. So it actually helped by adding the additional three worker nodes.